Yes, go ahead, Flavia. Hello, everyone, and uh, Happy New Year 2021. Uh, welcome to Africa Elta panel discussion series. Uh, today, we receiving uh, Indrao, Awa, and uh, Ibrahima. They are all from uh, ATES. ATES uh, is uh, uh, that uh, English uh, uh, Teachers Association of Senegal. Um, Ma'am Ibrahima and uh, Ndrao, welcome. Thank you, Ndrao. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good. Yes, uh, I'm going to give the uh, floor to Ibrahima. Ibrahima, could you uh, introduce uh, uh, to our audience uh, Ates? Uh, Ibrahima, uh, the floor is yours. Okay, thank you so much, Flavia. Thank you to the whole community. It is a pleasure for Ates to be here. And I am with two very important personalities in Ates, Mam Awa, who is the vice president, and Ra, who is in charge of the pedagogical affairs. Well, Ates is an association that is gathering all English teachers in Senegal, no matter the level in which they teach, from kindergarten to the university. Uh, you just need to be an English teacher to be a member of ATES. So ATES was created in 1976, 1976, and uh, uh, we are working in collaboration with many partners. Uh, I mean, the, the Minister of Education, of course, number one, and the Relaw Session and uh, the British Council. So ATES, it is in all regions. You know, Senegal is divided in 40 regions. And in each region, we have local chapters. And those local chapters were autonomous and uh, are also members of the bigger branch that is ATES itself, National ATES. So roughly, this is what ATES is. And it is open to all people, uh, all genders, and all ages. No restriction, no discrimination. So you just need to have the law for that language, to be keen on professional development, to be a member of ATES. Flavia, if that answers your question, that's it. <laughs> Thank you, Ibrahima. Um, now to Mam. Mam, okay, uh, right away, Ibrahima uh, said that uh, uh, ATES uh, has uh, some uh, chapters um, around the country. And uh, I, I just want to you to tell us how uh, uh, these uh, chapters function, and uh, uh, I mean, how I mean in terms of harmony, how do you work? Okay, thank you so much, Flavian. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Ibrahim Sis, also for the answer. It was very clear. Yes, he's absolutely right. Um, ATES has 14 different chapters in the 14 different regions of Senegal. And um, we work, uh, most of the time we have a bureau, okay, each chapter has a bureau with a president, vice president, treasurer, okay, just um, it's a kind of small version of uh, the national board. So we just refer to the national board and have approximately the same the same post, and then we work having activities with English clubs, having activities, work uh, organizing workshops with teachers, presentations, uh, and everything. And they also participate um, to uh, other activities as well. Great. So uh, this sounds good. Uh, now, in terms of conflict of interest um, because you have chapters you said 14 and uh, any conflict of interest uh, among I uh, mean all these chapters uh, the floor is uh, to um, draw
Okay, uh, Mdrao is having some yourself. technical. Okay, I'll... Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. I, was, I was just saying that I was moving from the mobile phone to the computer. The computer is now fixed. Could you, could you say the question one more time, please? So I said any conflict of interest uh, in terms of, uh, uh, I mean, those 14 chapters you have just talked about, do you think there is always um, uh, agreement um, in terms of organization of activities, in terms of leadership, any conflict of interest? Okay, thank you for the question and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, thank you all for coming, for attending this panel discussion. Uh, thank you, Flavia, for this wonderful question, because as you know, when we say that we have 14 sub chapters, uh, you may think about conflicts of interest, but this has not happened yet because uh, ATES is one team, okay? But due to the fact that we want to reach all and every, each and every English teacher, we have organized sub chapters. We have what we call regional branches or sub chapters, okay? These are parts of the main bureau of, of, the, uh, of, of ATES. And of course, whatever they do, they do it in relation to the whole mission and the whole vision of others. For example, we have what we call the grassroots. And the grassroots is a program which aim to reach out to all the teachers, even those who are in the remotest areas. I mean, wherever you are as a sub branch, you are working hand in hand with the main board, which is national, the national team. So there is no uh, conflict of interest because whatever we do, uh, we get together. We try to inform the whole, the board of what we do, but also the board also get in touch with those sub branches in order to help them, maybe financially or with ideas like uh, leadership. For example, if they have some problems to uh, get a place to organize something, ATES National can intervene in order to help them uh, solve this problem and vice versa, because for example, when Artists National want to hold a meeting or a national seminar, for example, in one chapter, we get in touch with the local board, which will be automatically part of the, what we call the organizing committee. So it means that whatever we do, we do it in collaboration, in perfect harmony. There is no conflict of interest between Artists as the main board and the sub chapters because the subchapters are considered part and parcel of artists. So you mean there is a, a very good coordination among you, uh, among, among these uh, 14 chapters, uh, this is a good thing. Uh, now, in terms of representatives of uh, chapters, how do you proceed? I'll go back to Ibrahima, Ibrahima. Okay, thank you, Flavien. Um, Drau is right. Uh, artist members are very disciplined and uh, they are putting into practice the idea uh, acting local but acting global. That's why, democratically, whenever we go to our convention, we make sure all regions, all chapters are represented by trying and involving everybody no discrimination. So at the same time, we are democratic, but at the same time, we try and be fair in terms of who should be in the uh, national board, who shouldn't be there. The shouldn't does not exist. Everybody can and uh, is allowed to be part of it. Of course, we have to listen to the majority in terms of votes and whoever people trust to be leading a commission or whatever, you will be the head. And then after now electing, we can quote some other members we think were discarded or did not join the team. And maybe if we notice that each ABC region is not present in the board, we make our best. We do our best, sorry, we do our best to, to, to make them participate in, in the board. So roughly that is how ATES is trying and uh, work and involve everybody in an inclusive but democratic way. Okay, uh, so uh, you make sure um, 
Our people are represented from all regions. And uh, apart from the, the, those uh, criteria, uh, I mean, this criterion, uh, are there any other criteria uh, in terms of uh, 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 electing someone who represent uh, uh, that branch, that chapter? Uh, the floor is uh, again. Yes, yes, if I may continue. Yes, no, there is no, no criteria whatsoever. The only invalid one is to be a member of ATES. We think that so all people, anybody can lead any commission. So just be a member of ATES. Even if you are not from Senegal, you may be um, posted somewhere and do the job. The main idea is to get the work done. Whoever does it doesn't matter. Do you want me to you know that people are already qualified. People um, have the potential. So, be you a man or woman from remote area or from the capital city, it does not affect. Be you in a big, in a big chapter. All of those are not valid criteria for people to be elected. So you, you just need to be a member of ATES and uh, then you can uh, uh, be elected and represent any chapter. This is what I can get uh, from your talk. Uh, but in terms of leadership skills, uh, aren't there any criteria? Uh, uh, the floor is to mom. Thank you, Flavia. Um, what I can say about that in terms of leadership is that um, nearly all artist members um, has got leadership skills because we've been working hand in hand on that, on instilling leadership skills in teachers with all those, all these training activities uh, artists organized, uh, you know, in Senegal. So most of the time we do not have those problems of leadership skills. Members who represent artists in local chapters um, dynamic members, members who, who we can trust, they can represent at us the way we want it. So I don't think I don't think we have problems of leadership skills or we have good representative for others. What do you mean by trust? Uh, because I said any leadership skills and you mm -hmm. said mm, actually no uh, and you come back to trust. Uh, don't you think trust is a leadership skill? Uh, when I when I say trust, I mean that uh, we are sure this person uh, we're gonna leave the, you know the represent representation of others is somebody who's skilled. I mean, who's got leadership skill, who can do the work the way it should be. This is what I mean by trust. Okay, so what do you? put in leadership skills? Leadership skills is uh, being able, one is being able to work hand, to work in team, you know, which is the first criteria because you will have to lead a group. You will be in a chapter, you will be leading a group, you'll be talking to them with no, making sure there will be no conflict because a while ago you were talking, you, you raised that issue, conflict. So someone who can work in team, someone who can be flexible, someone who's innovative, creative, thinking of activities, what can we do in our chapter? What can we do to help, uh, to help innovate or, or improve uh, things in ATES, Esther? So those are all, you know, when we talk about leadership skills, there are lots of skills that are integrated. Social skills, someone who can talk, communication. So all those are included. Oh, great. Um, yes, Ndrao, uh, I would like now to, to come back to activities uh, conducted by ATES. Uh, yes, could you share with us those activities of ATES? Okay, thank you. Um, well, in our association, we have what we call, there are main, main activities of ATES. And those fundamental or main activities are what we call the national convention if I'm not mistaken, you said you attended it once. 
I attended twice. Twice, yeah. You attended the national convention. We have also what we call the national seminar. And after the national seminar, we have the uh, English Language Day, the ELD. We have also the students convention, meaning the students day. And all these four are mainly the in the agenda of ATES. Every year we know that we should hold these four events. The national convention, which is, hold, which is held every December, early December. We have also the national seminar, and I will come back to the, to the details as, for each is, as far as each is concerned. And the national seminar, which is organized around May, June, uh, the same for uh, the Students' Day. And the ELD is organized on March, early March. So this is the agenda of ATES. Now, coming Before to the Before we uh -huh. carry on. Yes, go ahead. Yes, you have the floor, Ndrao. Ndrao, you still have the floor. OK, OK. So I was saying that when we, we come to the national, semi, uh, national convention, uh, it is the place to gather not only the local scholars, meaning teachers of English, but also knowledgeable people in terms of professional development. But also most of the time we profit from this occasion to reach out to international people like yourself or any other people that we need, we think that can bring something to the table and help our teachers prof de develop professionally. We also have the national uh, seminar, which is a time to get close to the practice, meaning what we need in the classroom. And we do it for a short group of people. And to come back to your first question about uh, uh, conflict, to, bring, uh, to, 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 to avoid this kind of conflict, we do our best that the national seminar will be as representative as the number of chapters, meaning each chapter will send some representatives and those representatives will go back and disseminate with their, uh, with their peers once at home. And most of the time, the national seminar is meant for practical classroom practices, if I can say, say so. Uh, the national uh, ELD also, the ELD is meant for uh, also professional development, all of them for teachers. Okay, and for the ELD as well, we go to the to the practice. Most of the time, the topics that we deal with the in the ELD is kind of subsequent, a continuation of what we dealt with in the uh, national convention, and so as for the national seminar. For example, I can give you a like a logical uh, agenda. We 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 started with restoring English as the top foreign language in Senegal because we noticed that English was failing because of many problems and students were fleeing English to the benefit uh, of other foreign languages. Now we did, we did a, a, a national convention, which was uh, where the topic is, was, sorry, uh, restoring English at the top foreign language. Now, after that, we went on by saying the 21st language skills, the, the 21st foreign language skills in the uh, ELD. And after the ELD, uh, you, you know that uh, this pandemic, COVID pandemic imposed us to transition to um, remote learning or remote teaching. And we organized so many webinars that you, uh, I, I, I don't know if you attended one or, or not, but we organized so many webinars to cope with the COVID-19 context in order to enhance and continue professional development. Because we were locked down, we couldn't meet anymore. So we should, as the mission of ATES is to ensure professional development of its members, then we transition to online. Now for the uh, students' day, of course, whatever we do is meant for the students. So we cannot keep on only organizing professional development, which are meant only for teachers, but the product, meaning the efforts that ATES is doing on the teachers should be visible on the learners. That's why we organize the Students' Day in order to see, to diagnose, in order to assess and evaluate exactly what the efforts of ATES were on the teachers, because the students are the mirror through which we can see the efforts of not only teachers, but also ATES leaders. That's why we have these four main events. 
So activities uh, centered on teachers and activities centered on uh, students. That's it. Good. This is uh, a very good uh, uh, practice. Uh, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid uh, because you said earlier that you have some chapters. So do you mean uh, chapters, activities, uh, I mean, organize the same act activities or they have the different activities and the national chap I mean the national board uh, also uh, has uh, the, the activities uh, I, I just want you to to clarify to clear up yes uh, thank you for that question as well uh, when we say that we have national events during the time of national events there is no local event no local event is organized during the time that we have a national seminar, for example, because everybody is going to attend that national event. That's why we call it national. National ELD, national uh, seminar, national convention. So everybody is there, National Students Day. Everybody is going to that place. And of course, in order to, to uh, reach out to those people, the national convention is not always organized in the same place, but we move from one chapter to another. For example, this, this time we, we went to, to Luga, and next year we will go back to Dakar, and the following year we will go back to the other regions. But whenever we have a national event, no local chapter is going to organize because they are meant to attend those uh, events. But locally also, they can take some initiatives. And this is where leadership is growing from our, our members. From your local chapter, you try to portray the role of Artes National because you are trying to do something that, for example, you can hear in some chapters, they say, we have an ELD or we have a Students' Day. And even for the Students' Day, the National Students' Day, we mean that all the Artes chapters organize some students' days in their, in their local chapters so that the best student will be selected for the national one. It means that whenever chapters are organizing, they can organize at the same time without any conflict because they do not need any kind of attendance from the other, other chapters. But when the Artes National is organizing, everybody is going there and everything is prepared locally. This is what we say, think locally and act globally. We think locally, we try to do things, think something in our local chapters that we will try to, deplete, to replicate on the national level. Great. Uh, yes, Ibrahima, uh, uh, all these activities are very good. And I'm interested in uh, the contribution of, uh, of attest members in uh, those activities, uh, be it financial or uh, human, uh, how, how does it happen? Ibrahima, you have the floor. Thank you, Flavia. You know, as I said, attest members are disciplined and they contribute 100%. <clears throat> they contribute financially, they contribute intellectually, and they contribute physically also. Whenever we have an activity, so there is no discrimination. Anybody, everyone, every single member of ATES is involved. Sometimes we need financial support, they can contribute. We need a work hand in hand, they contribute. We need whatever is needed, guys are ready to contribute. So this is ATES, it's a family and uh, there is no top management or grassroots, whatever. Everybody is on the same um, footing and they work together hand in hand. So what we do is most of the time we receive grants from our donors uh, who trust us just because we have a very long relationship based on good governance, based on trust, based on good leadership. And where leadership is very important because you were asking mom a while back to come back to leadership, what she would put there. And uh, she's right, all she enumerated are there, but one single word could be enough to influence. 
And others members, they all have the possibility, according to, of course, what uh, uh, John Maxwell said about leadership that it is influencing. They can influence people no matter their age, because they have been trained, they have been given autonomy, they have been given the possibility to shine and to do it. The example is here. When Rao are quite young, but you see, they could manage this discussion, mashallah. So this is a test, this is a family. And the dinosaurs are behind the scenes. And yes, <laughs> managing everything. So this is a test. Now, that's why you contribute. For example, intellectually, how do they contribute? We have an event, we send a call for paper. Whoever is well equipped is up to, to share whatever they get they are ready to come and share with their peers. When you are sent to the US, for example, for a master degree or what, any kind of, um, kind of professional development, when you come, you are given the priority to come and disseminate and talk about what you did. I can give the example of Mam Awa who presented lately, uh, Kali Jalo, uh, Masu Shinjai, all those people who went to the US and the Rafai, when they come back, the first thing they have in mind is how can I share what I have with the others? So this is others. So they contribute, they contribute, and they do. Well, uh, so um, uh, Ates uh, is doing a wonderful job. And uh, uh, I just want um, mom to, to tell me if, uh, I mean, do you mean that all teachers of English in Senegal belong to artists? Well, actually, to be to be honest, not all not not all English teachers, okay? okay. Because you know, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, not all English teachers belong to no. artists. No. Uh, showing that. Uh, at this, uh, still has some effort to make, right? So what are you doing to bring every single teachers of English in Senegal uh, to belong to at this? That is a network problem. I, I don't get your question very clearly. Can you please repeat? Yes, ma'am. What Artes is doing today? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what Artes is doing today to bring English, okay, to Artes? What are you doing today? Okay, I will, I will start again from the beginning saying that all English teachers of Senegal are not members of Artes. But Artes has uh, more than 1,000 English teachers in Senegal be it in the private school or in the uh, public schools, uh, university teachers, you know, um, junior school, uh, high school teachers. So it's a mix of English teachers. And it's not, we all know that it's not easy to motivate um, everybody because people have their own choices. I might decide to come and join a desk Somebody, someone else next might not want to join others. But whatever is that others is doing its utmost to make everyone participate. One, um, one thing is what Ndrao said again, uh, a while ago. Others is decentralizing you know, its activities in the remote regions. We try and reach out all those teachers because some teachers sometimes they, may, they, they complain like, Atas never comes and visit us, okay? We never see people in Atas come and uh, hold activities, which we are taking into consideration. And this is the reason why activities have, have been decentralized in the remote regions to reach teachers and tell them this is what Atas have been doing for teachers. These are the benefits you can have from Atas. So it's worth joining it. So I, I am hopeful that the, the number will be bigger and bigger. But for the time being, it's not all English teachers in Senegal. Is that how many teachers? Of, 
Uh, how many teachers? Yes, definitely you answered uh, my question. Uh, how many teachers of English do you have in Senegal now? Well, to be honest, I don't have the exact number. <laughs> Maybe you Rao said, or Sisian can answer. You said earlier that Ates at, at has uh, more than 1,000, one that is for sure. 1,000 uh, English teachers. And I, I wonder how many um, English teachers are in total in you know, Senegal in order to evaluate. But uh, since uh, you don't know this, it is not uh, a problem. Let's continue with uh, our debate. Uh, now, okay, you, uh, someone, can I, oh. can I please? Okay. Mm -hmm. Someone is um, sending a message saying it is 6,813 teachers That's of it. English That's in Senegal. It. That's it. Okay, great. So uh, this is precise. Eh? Uh, 6,813 uh, 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 English teachers, uh, teachers of English, I would say, in Senegal. And you have uh, s s about uh, 1,000, right? Yes. So how do you see this? Uh, how do you, uh, um, what, what, what are your feelings, ma'am, about this compared to the total numbers of uh, teachers of English you have in the country? and uh, the number of uh, teachers you have in the association. What are your feelings? Well, I am somehow disappointed because that's not easy to, it's not easy to have people come because so many people want, want to stay in their comfort zone, you know, uh, and uh, that is another problem. Teachers of nowadays, I don't know if it's the, if it's the case in the, your areas, in your countries, when there is no money for transportation or money for something they're gonna receive back, they will not come. So, uh, but I am hopeful that the number will get better because others is innovating. We are not sticking on our activities, the same ones we have. We're thinking of what can we do to make people come? What can we do to involve female teachers, you know, male teachers, everybody come. So this is something we're gonna get. I mean, we're gonna get there inshallah, I, I am hopeful. Can I come in? Can I come in? Yes, Ibrahim. Yeah. I was saying, yes, Mam Awa is just over ambitious, you know. With 6,000 6, or almost 7,000 people, we have to remember that ATES is, after all, a private association. You cannot force people to come. What you can do is at least let them freely join. And what we say in ATES is we have what we call active members and dormant members. We can say that all English teachers in Senegal are members of ATES, but they are not active people due to many reasons. Some of them, are, others are involved in other activities, but anytime you organize in their region, they would come. You, so you cannot exclude them. Now, the ideal would be to have them all, all be active. This is the, the small difference that exists between being member or not being member. They are love English. They all would like to join the team, but sometimes it coincides with their activities, they are involved in other things, so they cannot come. They are just dormant members, but they are all members. Now we would be happier like Mam Awa. The day when, the day when <laughs> people will be ready to leave everything they have when others organizing something. And remember also one thing, every time we have an organization, a limited number of people. For example, for the convention, most of the time we are aiming at 5,500 people. For the national seminar, the number is limited. Okay, for the students, they also will limit the number of participants. So you cannot gauge the participants, the members of ATES, through those activities solely. The only barometer you can have is whenever you go around Senegal, you talk about ATES, they know about it. They know about the activities, they are ready to disseminate. They have all the presentation, and to me, this can be sufficient. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we have uh, uh, active uh, as well as dormant uh, members uh, in uh, in ATES, and uh, you know one of the purposes of uh, this uh, uh, discussion is uh, uh, is uh, the development of. Uh, uh, associations, leaders, uh, 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 skills. And uh, yes, I, I would like uh, 
again, Ibrahim has to tell us what you as a leader in, uh, uh, in Athens, you're doing in order to bring back those dormant members. I, I, I'm not talking of those who <laughs> have not joined yet, but yeah. those who are dormant, who are not uh, now participating in anything, what are you doing in order okay. to bring them to, to, to move them? So, uh, Ibrahim, could you? Yeah, yeah. Diversity. We are for different activities. You know, diversity is the spice of life. We should not be doing routine. We are trying and know and test people's uh, needs and we touch their hot buttons through so needs analysis. Access is an ongoing process. Day in and day out, people are thinking, trying and assess every event we have and trying to do better next time. You understand? So this is the thing. So what we are doing is we are being more open to other people. We are being more transparent and we are proposing new, new incentives for people to join it. So variety is number one, transparency is number two, and good governance is number three. So this is the motto of ATES. And this, when Abdul, Mr. Nyan came, of course, the former president, they did a good job with their teams. But when Abdul came also, we have seen a new touch, you see. We see the vice president is a woman, it's the first time maybe. So or she's younger than the former ones. And if you look at the team, the ratio, the ages, we are having more young people than what we may call the pioneers. So this is one thing, and it is grouping in more members of ATES. We are trying and have international presenters, people coming with new ideas, cutting edge discoveries in terms of pedagogy. So that diversity, that innovation is also something we're trying and do. And I agree with you. So it is an, it's not an end product, it's a process. Wherever you go, leadership is about a process. You will not wake up one day and say, everything is perfect, I don't need to improve. There is always room for improvement. And Ates is aware of that. We are not dreaming or sleeping on our laurels. We are trying and <laughs> improve and grow daily. Plan it. Yes, uh, I would like to back it, back it up. Yes. I would like to back up uh, Mr. Sis. Is that possible? Okay. Oh, go ahead, bro. Okay, yes, uh, that, that's it. And uh, this is the vision we have for the time being, meaning including everyone by, uh, through variety. We would like, because we know that the expectations are varied. Many people, many expectations, or we can even say many, as, ex as many expectations as participants. And we, to, to reach out to those people, we're trying to vary our activities. But we, have, we are also developing some techniques to reach out to all the people. Because we know that for this digital era, we need to be connected, to, be, to stay online, to uh, mainly reach people where they are. People are no longer physically available, but they are virtually available. That's why we have set a new uh, committee, which is now web, 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 web mastering, in order to, be, to stay online. Now, ATES will be featuring every activity will be online. Like for this even event, people are doing their best to have it online and available to each and every member of ATES. But also we want to stay online to reach out to all those people, but also to allow them to get all the information they need because we know that the world is now electronically available. All the information about scholarships, about uh, professional development opportunities, everything is available online. And we have now a new team, which is webmastering and working hand in hand with the communication team uh, in order to inform people about what ATES is doing. But also in order to reach out to those members who are dormant members, to uh, survey them, to know exactly what their expectations are in order to increase them or include them in the daily activities of ATES. Because ATES is just made of some people. And those people, as Ibrahim said a while ago, they are not leaving. Those dinosaurs are still here, working hand in hand. But the problem is not those who were members of ATES, because they know what ATES is worth and why, they, why ATES is food for salt. But those people who are not joined yet, we need to develop some strategies to reach out to them through variety, through availability, through accessibility, which is the internet uh, with our communication team and webmastering team. Everything will be available online 
even the membership will be now available online. You can access your, you can buy your membership card through the, uh, the, the ATES website. You can also know about all the events. You can know about what the rules and regulations and of ATES are through online, okay, by staying online. So you do not need exactly, we, we no longer need to go physically and reach out to those people, okay? But we try to reach out to them where they are. As I said uh, at the beginning of my speech, they are virtually available through WhatsApp, through Telegram, through Zoom. Everything can be done by staying where you are. But we are not going to limit ourselves online, but we need also to reach out to them by organizing some events, mainly in those dormant, not only dormant members, but dormant chapters. Because there are some chapters, for example, they are doing their best. They are trying their level best, but they can't do it because maybe they, they host many dormant members. If you host many dormant members, you are unlikely to boost your association. But ATES is doing their best. Uh, the, the team is doing their best uh, in order to reach out to them, in order to inform them, but also increase the benefits. By increasing the benefits, we know that all um, or part of the, the dormant members will reach out because benefit is very important. When you are part of an association, you have some expectations. If those expectations are met, are not met, you are likely to disappear. And if you don't see any model of people, for example, uh, let's just suppose that one, one year, we say that ATES has sent two members, two members of ATES, maybe coming from the remotest regions of Senegal to uh, attend uh, maybe Africa, Elta, or even TESOL in the US. So people may say, oh, so this is an opportunity that ATES is offering now. So why not joining them? Okay, so this is just an example but many other things can be done in order to reach out to those people. And we are working hand in hand in order to, uh, yes, get everybody on board. Flavia, we can't hear you, you are muted. Thank you, uh, Ndrao. Uh, for that clear explanations. Uh, now I'm, I'm still back to mom. Mom, uh, how uh, women are treated in uh, a test? Uh, you, be, you, you belong to a test today and uh, are you, do you feel at home? Do you, do you, do you, uh, I, do you feel comfortable being in ATES? How are the feelings of, 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 of uh, ladies belonging to ATES? Ma'am, the floor is yours. Thank you. Um, well, I do feel at home in ATES, seriously. Women are well treated, they are given, you know, all opportunities possible, all opportunities that is there for them. Now, there is no limitation. There is never a discrimination between male teachers and female teachers. I, I should even say, when there is an activity and then we, sh we have to choose, we have to select who's gonna participate. I think the first people, the first persons we at a think thinks about are uh, female teachers. We, anytime, uh, ADES does its utmost to have mixed abilities group when there is events, to have, um, let's say, gender-based representative, if I can say it so. So, so fem female teachers, they have, they can be, they can have all posts they want in ADES. I'm going to take my example. I was never thinking that I can be vice president of ADES, and I am the vice president today. So all opportunities, you are encouraged the first time uh, I, went, I wanted to belong to the, to the um, boat, people were kind of, they were motivating me. You can go and take a post, go, don't lag behind. Go and take a post, you can do it. So when you are there and not believing uh, and not trusting yourself, not believing in yourself, everybody is pushing you forward. So they are, everyone is motivating teachers, to, uh, female teachers to uh, join the activities to um, have any post they want. So, so there is no limitation, there is no reservations for female teachers in ATES. Everything, whatever they want to do, they can do it, they feel at home. 
okay um and lately we have uh we have created atas has created you know a empowering um a female empowering teachers platform where all you know female teachers gather and talk about what they want we can talk we can um uh, share you know documents materials that can help us uh, improve our teaching practices so we talk about activities events and even if we have projects we want to um propose also we can discuss it in that platform so i think uh, yes female teachers are well treated in in others okay well, uh, uh, even, uh, even even though yeah i, I can i can back it back her up uh, you know atas has got two female teachers for uh, two female president for so far Okay, okay, two female presidents, and also uh, uh, female female are are, are um, uh, occupying very very high rank positions in others. And of course, it's not kind of discrimination between men and women because we are all a team. We are brothers and sisters, and we are working hand in hand. So female are helping uh, men, men are helping yeah. women without without any 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 trouble. So there is no discrimination. Either you are a man, uh, you are a man or a woman. Okay, this is not a trouble. Just do the job, as as Mr. C said a while ago. Be able to do the job. Be ready to get uh, committed, and you you are there. That's it. Yes, there is there is no no distinction between you are a, fe a male teacher, you are a female teacher. Be be equipped with leadership skills. Okay, if you can do the job, if you are always here, you know you you showing to others that. You love at us. You're ready to do whatever it takes to make things move forward. You, I mean, at us is gonna, at us is gonna help you. The way you're gonna help at us um, backwards. All right. Um, so, um, provided you have the leadership skills, then <laughs> you can, you can, you can. Leadership skills can is run, that's uh, everything. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, if mom is there today, it is because uh, she has uh, leadership skills, right? Uh, now, before I shift to, <laughs> to, to other questions, uh, I have some questions directly from uh, uh, our audience. Uh, the, the first one is how to become a member of ATES. And uh, the second question is uh, about uh, uh, why you guys you always uh, organize your your early convention in December and uh, uh, I mean why must all the opportunities offered by ATES uh, revolve around so uh, you have very, uh, three important questions there yes there are the fourth one do you think ATES is doing enough to be a model of leadership in Africa when it comes uh, to professional development. So uh, you have, uh, I'll give the floor to Ndrao. You have one minute to answer those four questions. Thank you. Okay, so I, I will start with, uh, with the last uh, question. Uh, inspiring uh, other associations is quite normal for artists because when we say that artists was born in uh, 1976, it means that it has got some experience to share with the other associations. I, can, I dare say that Mali, uh, for example, the Gambia, uh, Guinea, and uh, 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 the other country, uh, Rwanda, yes, they are mainly in getting inspired by uh, ATES. It's not kind of showing them the way, but working together with them, or working together, taking from them, because we know that they know something that we may not know, and we are learning. We are trying to share with them and to move forward. So ATES is really inspiring the other associations, but also is getting much from, from them. Uh, the other thing is about how to join ATES. Uh, we, we, we made it a way in order to strengthen the local branches once again. This is showing the leadership and organization. So if you want, want to be a member of ATES, uh, maybe you are a new teacher. For example, there are some teachers who have recently been posted. You can reach out to the president of your local chapter. 
and then you will buy a, a membership card because when you buy a membership card, then you are showing that you are willing to be part of ATES because when you are a member, you need, you need to show it by having a card. So what we are doing also to uh, better serve our people is to try to know exactly what they need are, what their needs are in order to cope with those needs. And even our, uh, even though we are making or we are organizing the same events, but the content is the, the matter. The matter is the content. And of course, we are trying to shape the content to fit the needs of the teachers. For example, at this moment, we are going to, we are, we are, we are about to start a new uh, webinar, which is named ATES Oasis. Oasis standing for ATES, uh, sorry, online Senegalese uh, intensive, uh, online, what, what is, uh, <laughs> Oasis, yes, it is ATES, online, uh, sorry, online ATES, so I'm sorry. Could you help me guys? <laughs> I, I have the term oasis. It is just, it is just yeah, the idea. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe the understand. idea. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. The idea is to, to go back to the root of, of uh, language teaching, because we know that we have been organizing events and those events we are dealing with uh, 21st language skills, social skills, etc., etc. We say now we need to go back to the root of, of, of language teaching. We have to revisit the four skills, which is reading, listening, uh, speaking, and writing, because these are exactly what the new teacher, for example, need in his class. But of course, he has to back up this knowledge with those social skills and the 21st language skills, but also with this technology time, because we are in a time where technology is a must. It is no longer a kind of fashion to have to know technology, but it is a must now to know technology because uh, the world is uh, in a pandemic situation which has pushed all the institutions to transition to what we call online or remote learning. So we need to know how to manage those tools, how to use them. And of course, what is the pedagogy that goes in line with those kind of tools? So we are trying to help our members to be technically equipped, but also to be pedagogically and technically equipped at the same time. This is exactly what ATES is doing in order to reach out to all, in order to meet the expectations of all, but also in order to satisfy the national uh, education as a whole. Thank you, Ndrao. Now I'm back again to Ibrahima. Uh, Ibrahima? Is Ibrahima around? I don't think. Maybe he's a no. bit taken. Okay, ma'am. Uh, yes, let's talk about uh, your fear about this in the near future. Uh, in the future, I don't want to qualify the future, but <laughs> in the future, what are you afraid of for Ates, ma'am? What I am afraid of. Wow, that's an unexpected question. <laughs> Have I once even thought of that? Because the way I see others um, evaluating, the way I see others moving forward, I am more hopeful than fearful. I am more hopeful to have more teachers, you know, being active members, as it's a question of being active members, uh, hold, reaching out, you know, remote areas, decentralizing more and more, you know, activities. Um, my fear is maybe to stay where we are and not succeed in um, involving teachers. Because we've been doing a lot, we've been struggling. It's been hard. It's always hard, but we we're going to keep on, you know, working, trying to integrate everyone. Maybe my fear is on simply uh, not to succeed in um, including all English teachers. But apart from that, I am hopeful for everything. Okay, uh, Ates uh, has many partners, uh, uh, and the most important one is. Uh, the U.S. Embassy, and uh, uh, let this scenario. Let consider this scenario uh, today. Uh, the U.S. Embassy, uh, uh, let I mean, decided to no more support you. So, what will happen, Andrew? 
Okay. Oh, yes. Oh. Oh. Did you? Okay. Um, yeah, for sure, um, Flavien, thank you for your brilliant question. And of course, ATES, as I said a while ago, is an association with a vision which is larger than uh, so, uh, being supported every time. And of course, we are not expecting that to happen, but it can, can happen. This means that we have also to get ready for that. And we have a, a, a new project which means that all and each and every English teacher will be contributing financially. And this is a, a good opportunity, of, of course, you're offering this panel uh, to make this widely known by some of them, because most of the time this is already sort of in the, in the, in the, in the, in the, in the board and afterward it is extended to the whole uh, country. Uh, so what we are aiming to do is to have financial contribution directly from the teachers. And this will allow us to benefit more the teachers. A while ago, I was saying that uh, the main aim of ATES is to increase its benefits uh, to meet the expectations of all, and, uh, all, all the participants or all the members. And we cannot do that on the basis of the grant that we got from maybe the US embassy or other partners, because most of the time they give us a grant on the basis of some rules by saying that this should be go, this should be financed in some way and so, uh, so, so, so on and so forth. But if we have financial autonomy, this is exactly the term that we want to, 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 to uh, make real, to make happen in our association, to have a financial autonomy we will be able to fly with our own wings. This is exactly what ATES is aiming at, to get financial autonomy by making uh, all the participants contribute financially. And of course, we will extend our opportunities. We'll even be able to send, as I said a while ago, as an example, to send some people to attend some webinars, may, or to so, some workshops abroad, or even why not uh, financing someone to get a master's degree because it's all about money. If we have the money, for example, we can send two or more people to attend some uh, master degrees in teaching, for example. Of course, if they come, they will be obliged to share with those with uh, the people who are attending, who are expecting them, because this is a kind of contribution to make their uh, trip, to make their studies happen. So you should be coming back and share again. This is exactly what we are doing, even though this is not the case. We are doing our best so that if someone goes to the US and attend, for example, a, a training, when he comes back or when they come back, we do our best to make them share with the others. So it will be a kind of obligation if we send some people to go and learn to come and partake with the uh, other members who are waiting. Although I'm not satisfied with the answers, uh, I'll go to Mam. Mm -hmm. uh, some sisters associations in Africa said uh, this, uh, that uh, Senegal Ates is, because Ates is by the riverside, that uh, uh, she is flourishing today. Uh, I mean, Verilo is in Senegal and uh, uh, Verilo is supporting all of your activities. That is why you flourishing. What do you say about this? This is really thanks, thankful to Rilo and uh, the U.S. Embassy and all its partners because they're really helping um, hold the activities. They're really helping, but Ades is also, at, uh, you know, helping itself you know, through the dynamism they have, the willingness they have, the creativity they have holding activities. We could have got all that money and use it inappropriately also because I have a different understanding of success or, or flashing, that word flashing you use. I have a different understanding. It doesn't only depend on the money. Money plays a role, but also the, the, the I mean, what you do, what you do also has to do with it. As I said it a while ago, if we had an, an, an appropriate use of that money, maybe people would not be talking of, about ATES the way they do today. Uh, ATES will not reach the areas they, uh, I mean, or, or the areas it has reached today. People will not be interested in ATES. Interested in ATES. It's because also members are working hard 
you know, members are doing their, their level best to, you know, you know, improve the English language teaching, uh, you, uh, develop oneself, you know, ourselves professionally, personally. So these are things we get also from Addis. That's a lot of work Addis is doing behind. But now, what Rao yeah. said also is as, is as well yes. very um, important. Thank you for your input. Okay. Uh, yes, today we, we receive uh, uh, that uh, one of the biggest association of uh, Africa, uh, uh, ATES, and uh, well, uh, they were represented by Mam, Ndrao, and Ibrahima. And uh, this uh, uh, discussion happens because of uh, many of uh, 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 Africa ELTA uh, staff members. And uh, thank you for being uh, at, uh, I mean, running the Facebook platform. I would like to thank also Ayman, the, the president of uh, Africa ELTA. And, uh, Thanks to you all, guys. I mean, uh, uh, the audience. And uh, uh, this discussion uh, has been very fruitful and interesting. I love you guys. And let's keep in touch and see you at uh, over time. Thank you so much. Bye bye. bye, -bye and thank you to Alta and for the great work. Good job. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, Flavian. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Flavian. Bye. Bye-bye, everyone.